Montgomery County is honoring four first responders as heroes. The Board of Supervisors recognized the men Monday night for rescuing a woman who was trapped under a burning car last month. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell brings us their harrowing story. Early in the morning of October 7th, Deputy Josh Oakley pulled up to this terrifying scene in Reiner. His dash cam video shows flames shooting out of an overturned car on the side of Route 8. I just out of instinct ran up to the vehicle. With a woman trapped underneath. It was pretty, pretty somber in hearing that poor little girl just scream, but that, that was the hardest part. Reiner volunteer firefighters Zach Duncan and Joey Griffith were already trying everything they could to rescue her. Me and the other firefighter ran up, tried to lift the vehicle off of her. We couldn't get it to budge. We were scrambling for options. Uh, we had to act immediately to try to get her out. At that time, the officer showed up. The three men tried once again to lift the car and free the woman. Did you think that you were going to be able to save this person? No, um, but that's not really something that you think about, you know. When you hear somebody screaming and you notice that they're trapped under the vehicle, obviously, you know, you're going to do whatever you can to to get that person out of the vehicle. With an off duty Carillion police officer's help, it worked without the deputy and then the firefighters there to help us out. We would probably never be able to get her out. You can see in the dash cam video the first responders heroically pulling the woman to safety I had a cloth top, so it was it was a convertible. How, how that girl made it out of it, I still have no idea. Days later, Sheriff Hank Parton heard the story. One of the deputies approached me and said, hey, Sheriff, did you hear about Oakley picking the car up off the woman? And I said, what are you talking about? He decided the first responders needed to be recognized. We have heroes that serve their community, and they perform heroic actions all the time. Uh, lots of times those actions are never even talked about. That's why he created the Eric Sutphin First Responder Hero Award that each of the men received Monday night. I don't don't view myself as a hero by any means. It's nice to be able to know that you can make a difference. We put our boots on the same way as everybody else and try to do what we can to help our community. Going above and beyond the call of duty. If the call came across, yeah, I'd do it all over again. Risking their lives to save others. In Montgomery County, Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you.